Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's King Leo coming at you again. It's official. It's official. Today was my worst day as a tasker on TaskRabbit. Let me explain. So, I had a customer. Okay? I had a customer. It was a female, an attractive female, but her being attractive has nothing to do with how much of a bitch she really was. So I uh, I meet her near the elevator and I made a little joke. You know, I, I said, uh, I said, so, so who's going to help us, you know, move everything? Because this was a moving task. She was like, I, I mean, I, I said, uh. Who's going to help us lift the heavy items? She said, I will. I said, are you sure? I said, are you sure you can handle this task? And I said it like that. I said it just like, I was like, are you sure you can handle this task? And I said it with like a smirk on my, on my face. And she smiled. And she said, <laughs> she said, yeah, trust me. She was like, I'm like an ant. She said, she's like an ant. Because ants are small, but very strong. A lot of them. When she responded in that manner, I thought she understood completely that I was just fucking joking. But let me get let me get to that later. So we get there and I start working, but uh I start to realize that she's very bossy, like she likes to be in control. And I don't really have a problem with that. What I do have a problem with is how you uh you Tell me that you want to do something. You don't. You don't just go. Look, look. C uh, come over here and do this. Uh, yeah, you can go over there and do that, and I'll, I'll do this. You're supposed to say, "Do you mind doing this? Do you mind doing that? Can you? Can you're supposed to speak like that? Don't just talk to me like I'm your damn dog. Anyway, that's. But that's how she spoke to me. Um, she was very bossy very bossy. She had a very bossy mentality, right? So then uh, what happened? What happened? Um, hmm. We were trying to move the bed. Look, this chick, right? She, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. When it was time to take apart her bed and move it to the other unit, she was just moving like right next door to the other unit in the same hallway. So we weren't, we basically weren't moving anywhere, but anyway, when it came down to taking that bed apart and taking the sheets off and taking the pillows off, she had so much heavy shit on that bed, you wouldn't even fucking believe it. First of all, her bed, the bed itself was a king sized tempur bed. And if any of you understand those beds are very, very fucking heavy. Very, very heavy. So I had this small female. She was like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, and I'm being generous when I say 5'4". She, she might have been 5'4", five, 5'3". Five, anyway, she was the one helping me move that monster. The damn thing weighed like over 130 pounds. Or some shit. The damn thing was a fucking mammoth. Of a bed. And that's not my first time moving something like that. So anyway. We had to move it in a, in a, in a very unique way. We tried her way to move it. It didn't work. Okay. Um, and then I kept. I kept letting her know. Hey look let's try it like this. Let's try it like that. And my not even my way was working. So then she got fed up. She said oh my god. And I, and I was like, you know what? No, no. After she did that, after she said, oh, my God. She she walked away and took and took a seat somewhere. I said, um, oh, okay, okay. Let, let me, let, guys, I'm just like, my fucking mind is all over the place right now. After, after she, uh, she caught an attitude, said, oh, my God, she sat down. And then she said, you know what? 
Just go. She said, "Just go in the room and and, and uh uh take the bed apart. We'll 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 take care of this uh you know the bed later." That's exactly how she said it. Just go in there and take the bed apart. <sighs> I walked into the room, and I stood there thinking to myself, "Should I leave? Should I just leave this stupid fucking bitch? Cause her goddamn attitude's so fucking bad. You fucking you crusty ass bitch." That's what I was thinking to myself. I was just thinking to myself, like, maybe I should just leave this bitch. So I, I put my tools in my bag and I said, you know what? I'm just going to go on ahead and this is what I told her. I said, I'm just going to go on ahead and leave because you have a really bad attitude. She was like, I ain't got a bad attitude. She was like, you're the one that was on the elevator. You told me that, that uh, I might be too small to lift heavy items with you. You're the one that started with me. And she started, <laughs> it started, you know, tearing up and. And she was like, she was like, uh, um, and, 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 you know, uh, there were three people in total that I hired, and you're the only one that that arrived. And 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 when you make jokes at a time like, uh, she said, uh, uh, when you make jokes at a time like this, it's not good. It's not good. Moving day is not a funny. It's not funny. There's nothing funny about it. And then I was like. I apologize for it coming off that way, all right? I didn't mean to piss you off or to uh, uh, make you feel like you were less than when I made that joke to you in the elevator, okay? I apologize. She was like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? So then I, you know, went in the room. I took the bed apart, took the parts from that room, took it to the new unit, built the bed, all that good stuff, Okay. Oh man, now I, now I gotta tell y'all the other shit that happened, right? So we finally got to uh, moving the bed in there, right? Was that was the bed the last? No, no, no. Let, let me, let me, let me. Yes, the bed. Wait, what, did we move the other thing? Yeah, that that was that was. Uh, Guys, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to excuse me. You know, I'm, I'm, my mind is all over the fucking place right now. Um, anyway, we moved the bed on in after I built the bed frame inside of the new unit. Okay. Um, and we we struggled moving that damn bed, man. We put it on two dollies. We put we had one one floor dolly at the end at one end of the bed. The bed was folded up like this. It was like that and we basically laid it flat so it was like this and we laid it like that on one we had one dolly on this side one dolly on the other side that's how we were able to move it out and eventually roll it in to uh the new unit and it wasn't easy guys it wasn't easy this hallways weren't really big enough the doorways definitely weren't big enough and we struggled, and she struggled the most, cause here she goes huffing and puffing, and you know, um, and 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 hitting her ankle. You know, uh, the the floor dolly hit her fucking ankle. Not only did that happen, okay, so that was the first injury, right, to her. You know, the the dolly hit her itty bitty ankle. You know, um, and then unfortunately, at, right after that happened, as I was pushing the um. The bed end with the dot, you know, with the dollies under it. One of the dollies ended up running over her pretty foot. You know, she had nice feet. She had her toes done, and you know, one of her toes got ran over. And then she said, "Oh, you know, she made a noise." I said, "Are you okay?" She said, "It ran over my foot," and she was like, "But I'm okay." You know, I said, "Okay." And that wasn't then, guys. That wasn't the fucking end. So we rolled it in. And we, we start to get it into the room. The room is on the left-hand side. I lift the bed up. We get it into the door where the bed frame is that I built. As I'm moving it in, I have to grab on really tight, right? I have to grab on really tight to this bed because it's a fucking monster. I'm sweating. I'm huffing and puffing and everything, okay? And... I'm moving it. So I take my hand off and then I put it back. Little do I realize some of her hair, cause she's helping me, right? She's on my 
my right hand side, and I'm grabbing it with my right hand, holding it up. Some of her hair was caught in my finger and on the bed as I was grabbing as hard as I could. You know what she did? She pulled away. Cause because I said I said hold on, hold. I, I said I got this. She pulled away, and as she pulled away, some uh, two like two strands of her hair got ripped out. It's not funny. It's not funny, but it was a fucking catastrophe, guys. It was a fucking catastrophe. That was the very last thing that happened before she was like, you know what? That's it. She no no. She said uh, we got one more item, and that's it. When in reality, guys, it was more. Than, it was a little bit more that needed to be moved. She was just done with me. She was like tired of me, and that, that's fine. That's fine. I was the only guy that fucking showed up. So the least you could do is be fucking grateful, bitch. Anyway, that's enough. That's a whole nother story anyway. But let's backtrack a little bit. As we as we were moving the bed into the unit, she all she's all you know, because we, we we're struggling. We're fucking struggling. And then I, I told her, I said, hold on. I said, I said, hold on. I said, take your time. I don't want you, you know, I don't want you to hurt yourself. You know what, you know what this fucking bitch said? She was like, look, she's like, she's like, you know what? You always act like you know what you, you know what's going on. She was like, you know, I'm getting tired of you. Just don't say nothing to me no more. That's exactly what I swear to God. I swear to God, that's what that bitch said to me. <laughs> when I say this bitch had the worst attitude, I mean that shit. She was a bitch. And then she wonder why no there was nobody else that wanted to work with her. Besides me, not even her friends, not even her family. Nobody wants to help this bitch do nothing because she's a fucking bitch. She's a whole bitch. All that fucking makeup on. She looked nothing like she used to. I saw I saw a picture of her that was just sitting on one of her dressers. I looked at that picture. I said, fuck, don't look nothing. She don't look nothing like she used to look. She got these fake lips. All this makeup on. She got her eyebrows all, you know, animated and shit. Anyway, that's that's something different. But anyway, um, she was a super bitch. She was a super bitch. I gave her a negative review. You know, um, she definitely deserved that one. I gave her a negative review. Even if she wanted to give me a negative review, she couldn't because that's how TaskRabbit works. If the tasker... And taskers, I need you to listen to me closely. When the tasker gives the customer a bad review first, then that customer can't give you a negative review afterwards. So you're met, you don't never have to worry about your metrics being fucked up because of a negative review that you didn't expect was coming. Okay. Uh, so that's basically it, guys. This was like my worst client. That I ever worked with. She was a real bitch. A real bitch. She had a lot of mouth on her. A lot of mouth on her. She had the nerve. Bitch, I'm doing you a big favor. The least you could fucking do is be grateful that my black ass showed up when everybody else turned their back on you and fucking quit, bitch. And there's one last thing I wanted to tell y'all. The very last thing that happened at the end of, of this move that I did today. Okay? The very last thing that happened was she was bitching and complaining about her $200 sheet that she had on that fucking mammoth of a bed. As we were moving it, as I was gripping it as hard as I could while I'm moving it, doing her a fucking favor, the only thing she was co concerned about was that there were holes in it. I ended up mistakenly putting holes in her goddamn uh, sheet as I was moving it. As I was moving her bed, she was more concerned about that than the fact that I, that I helped her take apart the bed frame, move the bed frame into the room, rebuild the bed frame, and help that fucking bitch put that mammoth of a goddamn bed back on that goddamn bed frame. She was more concerned about her $200 sheet. Than she was about me getting the goddamn job done. Now that's a real bitch right there. You un she was ungrateful. Look, she was ungrateful. 
and she was very materialistic. That's what I realized about that bitch. She liked to, she liked to, um, you know those kind of people that when they get something nice, they don't want nothing to happen to it. If there's a little, little nick on it, oh my God. Oh God. You acting like you broke and you can't afford to buy a new one. You know what I'm saying? Like. These people like, what is that called? Coveting. She she covets. She, she's a coveter. She covets her items. You so concerned about something getting damaged a little bit, and you concern you so concerned about needing to having to replace something that you don't realize that I'm doing you the biggest favor. The favor that I'm doing for you is bigger than you could even see. Because you're so concerned about your goods. Bitch, you got to learn how to be fucking grateful. She's an ungrateful bitch. Anyway, guys, that's that's what I wanted to get off my goddamn chest, man. I'm pissed off. But anyway, this was my this was my video of my worst day uh, as a tasker on TaskRabbit. Um, I personally made what, 77, 74. I think I made 74 off that job, $74. And I got another job coming up. So technically I'll, I'll make just, just about a hundred dollars for the day after I, after I complete my second job, I, I'll, I'll, uh, you know, um, be at like a hundred dollars for the day or, or almost a hundred dollars for the day. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. You could tell I'm tired. I'm, I'm. You could tell I'm drained, man. I'm drained. That's what it is. I'm tired, man. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the links in the in the description. Okay, you can make a lot of money using the uh, you know um, the shopper link. You could become a shopper with Instacart and make really good money. I know about someone that made a three that made three hundred dollars in one day, um, as a shopper through Instacart. All you have to do is click the link down below in the description. Okay, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe on this video. Tell your friends about this video, to, uh, and um, tell your friends to go into the links in, in the description so that they can check out my content that I provide there and the links that I provide there. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Peace out until next time.